Empress Suiko was the first female monarch in Japanese history. She broke the ground and paved the way for future generations of women in position of leadership. Empress Suiko's reign was marked by significant development in Japanese culture and society. Suiko was born in 554 as the daughter of Emperor Kimme, the 29th monarch of Japan. Suiko was known for her talent in art and literature. She was good at poetry and music and was interested in Buddhism. Her father died in 571 when she was still a child. Her half brother, Emperor Bidazu, succeeded the throne. He died in 585 and was succeeded by Emperor Yomei. But Emperor Yomei just came to power for about two years and died of illness. After his death, Emperor Sushin ascended to the throne. Emperor Sushin was a puppet, with real power being held by his mother and the Soga clan. The Soga clan was one of the most influential and powerful families in Japan and was closely aligned with the imperial court. The Soga clan also supported Suiko to become a regent to Emperor Sushin, as she was the member of the clan and was closely aligned with its leader. As regent, Empress Suiko was able to use her position to promote the interests of the Soga clan and advance her own political agenda. During that time, there was a power struggle between the Soga clan and the Mononobe clan. In 592, in the midst of these tensions, Empress Sushin was assassinated in a coup d'etat, and it was believed that he was killed by the Mononobe clan. After that, the Soga clan saw an opportunity to continue their power by supporting Suiko to take the throne. At that time, it was relatively unusual for women to hold positions of power, but they recognized her potential as a strong and capable ruler and believed that they could continue to influence the court if Suiko became the empress. The Mononobe clan saw it as a threat to their own power and influence, so they actively opposed her. But despite the opposition, in 593, Suiko still managed to ascend to the throne and became Empress Suiko, Japan's first female ruler. Empress Suiko's reign marked a significant turning point in Japanese history. During her reign, Empress Suiko was a patron of art and literature. She recognized the importance of education in promoting the welfare of the state and the well-being of the citizen. She encouraged the development of schools and university and supported the study of literature, philosophy, and art. She was also a strong supporter of Buddhism and helped to establish Buddhism as a dominant religion in Japan. In order to promote Buddhism and support the religious need of the people, Suiko sponsored the construction of many temples and monasteries throughout Japan. However, the construction of these temples and monasteries was often expensive. The cost of building and maintaining them was a significant burden to the country. To address the economic burdens, Empress Suiko encouraged using local resources and labor. She also encouraged the use of donations and contributions from wealthy individuals to fund these projects. Empress Suiko also worked to establish a more centralized government in Japan, which helped to increase the stability and security in the country. She adopted the 17 Article Constitution, which established a set of ethical principles for the ruling class. Such as respect for Buddhism, importance of education, and the need for a fair and just governance, it helped to establish a framework for a more centralized and powerful state in Japan. The constitution is considered to be one of the earliest example of a written constitution in the world. There was no record of Empress Suiko being married. Some historians believe that before she became empress, she was married to her half brother, Emperor Bidazu. While others argue that she was married to a cousin, the details of her personal life remain a mystery and subject to interpretation. But as a female monarch in ancient Japan, she was not expected to marry, as the imperial succession was traditionally passed down through male heirs. Instead, her duty was to rule as monarch and to promote the well-being of the country and its people. Empress Suiko's reign ended with her death in 628 at the age of 75. She was succeeded by her nephew, Emperor Jiume, who continued many of the policies that Empress Suiko has established during her reign. Empress Suiko's reign was the longest female monarch in Japanese history. 
She ruled for 35 years and oversaw many significant political, social, and cultural developments in Japan. While there were other female monarchs in Japanese history, none of them ruled as long or had as significant impact as Empress Wiko.